today's video is just going to be an answer to a question. And I seem to get this question a lot, especially since I created the websites. The first one being, of course, remedagod.org, and then my sister's site years later at sdaapostasy.org. But the question is always the same from every obedient child of God. They usually ask, now that I obeyed the Lord and left the church that I know now is in open apostasy, what do I do now? Well, since their question is always the same, my answer is always the same. What did the Jews do when they came out of the fallen synagogues 2,000 years ago? They all started churches in their homes. I mean, notice the verses on your screen right now. It's pretty obvious. I mean, if you look closely, you will see there's actually two good reasons for starting a church in your home today and 2,000 years ago. First and foremost, real Christians can only follow the Lamb whithersoever he goeth. And so all the believing Jews started their churches in their homes so as to please the Lord and bless their families. And then the other reason they came out of the fallen synagogue was twofold, actually. Most were cast out for just mentioning Jesus Christ and his truth in the synagogue. And number two, many left because they sought the peace and the love that was found in the home churches. Because the hatred and the persecution of the Christians was very apparent in the synagogues. And now that we are in the very last days, we see a repeat of the same movement of the Lord. I mean, truth is, as students of prophecy, most of us already knew that since the churches were moved by the Lord to start in the homes 2,000 years ago to both bless the obedient people of God as well as protect them from persecution, in the last days, the people of God will start churches in their homes for the same exact reasons. All the home churches of 2,000 years ago and today have begun because obedient Christians with an undying love of the Lord must follow the Lamb whithersoever he goeth, just as the prophecy predicted they would. And since all the churches asked Jesus to leave long ago in today's world by preaching all sorts of pagan traditions to doctrines and demons, the home church movement has grown as expected. You know, another positive aspect of the home church is that Jesuits can't easily infiltrate them due to their small sizes. I mean, seriously, a few families gathering on Sabbath each week can easily discern the presence of an evil infiltrator much quicker than they can if they were in a large brick-and-mortar church wherein Satan has all sorts of distractions deep within it. For those that are not near a home church right now, or if you're unsure about how to start a home church in your area, we can help you there. We can either help you start a church or find a church near your home. And until we do, you are welcome to join us online as we freely broadcast our home church service live each Sabbath day using an online audio conference, an internet radio station, and a teleconferencing service. Check out this page as soon as you can to get a little bit more information on how to do that. Thank you for watching. God bless.